Hey, and welcome back to part four of Cannabis and the Chakra series. I'm actually super excited to um, talk to you guys about this one because it is kind of what ties our lower chakras to our higher chakras. That happens right in the heart space. It's kind of right in the middle of all of your chakras. So this is a really powerful one. And so yeah, we're just going to get right to it today and go into... Um, different tips and things you can do to have a healthy heart chakra. So there are many things that can inhibit our heart chakras and like I mentioned before in previous videos, a lot of that can come from like childhood trauma, if you experienced any abuse, physical, emotional, or sexual abuse. Um, the, those things really intend to inhibit us in a lot of ways and cause blockages in our chakras. So they're not functioning optimally and they kind of hinder us in other areas of our life um, as we're growing up. So it's important to kind of tap into that and try and get um, as much healing done as you possibly can so that you can thrive instead of just survive. So um, like I said, uh, any type of abuse or if you're raised by cold and distant parents or had a narcissistic parent. Um, if you were denied affection or love growing up, things like that. Um, and also if you have any unhealthy or limiting beliefs and values around love, um, that's a big sign that you probably have a blocked heart chakra right now. So the heart chakra is kind of our center of balance and love and connection. Um, it's located in the chest area right in the center. Um, it's associated with the color green and the element is air. So this chakra regulates everything associated with our self-acceptance, self-love, compassion, um, openness, and unconditional love of others. And um, it's important to just kind of become aware of how this feels for you and your body, especially if, as I'm listing um things like different signs that it's out of balance uh, within you. So just keep that in mind and kind of just pay attention to how you feel in that area as I'm going through the list. So signs that your heart chakra is out of balance. Um, if you feel disconnected from other people, uh, even those who are your closest with, you feel kind of like disconnected to them, uh, that's definitely a sign that there's an issue with the heart chakra. Um, if you're withdrawn and avoid socializing, if um, you're either extremely needy in relationships or you're very emotionally distant because there's like the excessive and um, the deficient side as of the heart chakra as well. Um, if you're terrified of being alone. Um, uh, if you're a people, people pleaser and you put your self-worth outside of yourself, so you're always doing things to make people um, think highly of you and getting your self-worth from outside sources, that's a sign for sure. Um, if you're someone who holds grudges or finds it really hard to forgive, that is definitely a sign as well. Um, if you struggle with bitterness or angry thoughts, if you're jealous of others, if you have a lot of negative self-talk, so you're always like kind of bullying yourself in your own head, you're always talking down yourself, um, that's definitely a sign. Um, if you're constantly replaying your traumas all the time, that's definitely a sign. Um, if you perceive yourself to be a victim in your circumstances and lay blame on uh, things outside of you for your own happiness and like that feeling of connection and love, um, definitely an imbalance in your heart chakra. If you are bad at putting boundaries down for your relationships, um, that's definitely a sign and also codependency. So if you're super codependent in a relationship, um, which I was extremely guilty of and I'm still healing myself from this because um, I was very codependent of my fiance and it would it was kind of like stifling him and I didn't realize what I was doing until I actually became more self-conscious, not self-conscious, but just aware, self-awareness, more self-awareness of what I was doing. Um really put things into perspective and I was like, oh my God, like I need to, you know, get what I'm seeking from him from myself through self-care and, you know, balancing my own life. So that is codependency, huge sign as well. Um, so if you're suspicious of others, you're always kind of, you know, on your toes and kind of worried about what others are doing. Um, definitely a sign. 
And there's also different physical symptoms that can happen in your body. So anything relating to your heart or lungs um, and chest area. So things like asthma, high blood pressure, and poor blood circulation are all also signs of a deficient, or sorry, just an unbalance in your heart space. So like I said, there's excessive and deficient. So on the excessive side, you're going to be super clingy, smothering, and a martyr. And if you're on the deficient side, you're going to have that anxiety and fear and uh, you're going to feel isolated and you're going to be super self-critical of yourself. And of course, you could like fall on both ends because I do um, because I on my deficient side, I definitely have a lot of anxiety and Um, Not recently, but before I started becoming self-aware and trying to heal myself, um, I experienced extreme isolation. I kind of got removed from all of my friends that I used to hang out with back in high school and stuff, and not on purpose. It just kind of happened. Everybody just drifted. Like, there's no, like bad blood or anything. It's just, it was just a period of my life where I had to go internal and it was like very isolating. And then I started like suffocating from that isolation. So now I'm just stepping back out and going out and like starting to have a social life again. So it, it's really important to, you know, try and do whatever you feel that you need to fix these things. So when you have a healthy heart chakra, like I said, you're going to be open and receptive you're going to feel courageous. You're not going to be scared and anxious all the time. Um, your heart will soften and you will feel safe around others. You're not going to be so suspicious of everyone and assume that everyone is out to get you or anything like that. Um, you're going to start releasing old toxic behaviors and patterns in your relationships. Uh, like I said, like setting healthy boundaries and just realizing um, like your codependent behaviors and trying to, you know, ease back on that a little bit is very important. Um, When you have a healthy heart chakra, you're going to feel loving and expansive and receptive of love and you'll be able to forgive yourself and others way more easily when your heart chakra is in tune. So let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to the tips on how to heal your heart chakra. So I like to start with um, what cannabis strain is good for this type of work, and you can incorporate the cannabis part of it with pretty much everything else I'm going to list. So it's kind of cool when you can, you know, use the amplifying effects of cannabis to amplify any like visualization and meditations and stuff that you're doing outside of cannabis to help your heart chakra. So you want to look for an even blend of indica and sativa. So like a 50-50 blend is perfect because it, like I said, your heart chakra is in the center of your lower chakras, which I'll go into the deeper indicas. And as we go, we're going to start going up into the higher sativas. So it's like right in the middle. So a 50-50 is perfect. Um, There's a couple strains like sage and blue bubble that are, are ideal for this kind of work. But any strain with kind of a 50-50 indica sativa blend will really help you amplify um, your intentions. So when you're intentionally focusing on your heart space and kind of visualizing it expanding and like sending love out to others while you're doing that under the influence of especially a specifically picked strain for this, um, it'll just amplify those intentions and connect you with a beautiful loving vibration and like I said, all the following can be incorporated along with the cannabis. So it's pretty cool. So one awesome thing that you could do that's pretty much accessible to everyone is forest bathing. Okay. You want to, like I said, green is the color of the heart chakra. So you want to surround yourself with beautiful greenery whenever you can. So whether that is, um, going to a park or going on a hike in the bush or um, just somewhere outside surrounded by trees and greenery and nice luscious green plants. Right now for me, it's winter time. So it, you know, there's not a lot of green going on. There are the evergreens obviously, but you know, even that's okay uh, during the winter time. But if you're somewhere like in the city and it's kind of harder for you to get out into the nature, um, having house plants, just having green plants around the house really help um, support your heart chakra. So that's a great tip. Um, obviously meditation is a great tool. And like I said, with cannabis, um, so you would basically focus on your heart space when you sit in meditation. Um, 
you become aware of your breath and you just kind of imagine that green color expanding out of you and then you can send love you could send love to yourself you could send love to your family and loved ones your friends uh and even sending love to those um people who have wronged you in the past and who you're holding grudges against sending them love is a very powerful powerful thing um because you know uh when you have a healthy heart chakra you're gonna love everyone unconditionally so that is the goal with that um also, uh, you want to develop healthy boundaries. So saying no when you don't want to do something, um, especially like setting boundaries in certain relationships that you have in your life. Um, if you notice they're draining or kind of toxic to you, you might want to pull back a little bit. You don't have to completely cut everyone out, um, but you can cut off any toxic behaviors that you have and just limit your time with certain people that you feel drain your energy. Um, another thing too is hugs. Um, I, every single day, me and my husband hug at, for like 30 seconds at least once, and that is extremely powerful because you're just blending your heart spaces together, like the energy together, and it just promotes love, and it's really good for your health and everything. So hugging, hug your kids, your mom, hug, hug the people that you love. Um, you also want to be open to receiving love. I know a lot of us, myself included, get kind of uncomfortable when we receive compliments or, you know, if we receive love in different ways. It might make us extremely uncomfortable if our heart chakra is out of balance and we might not know how to take that. But you want to kind of just try and receive that love and those compliments, um, like graciously, you don't want to, you know, it might be a little awkward at first, but you just want to be able to accept those compliments because it, it's fulfilling to you and, you know, love is love. So spread and accept love. Um, there's different crystals you could use also. You could use crystals in meditation or you could just, you know, have them somewhere and place them around the house. There's quite a few. Um, there's jade malachite, rose quartz, emerald, and green fluorite, and those are just a few that you could use. I actually have a malachite pendant that I'm wearing right now, and it's beautiful because it goes right on my heart space, so it sits right where it needs to be. Um, and I also have a beautiful rose quartz that's kind of in the shape of a heart, so that's amazing too. And I also have this piece of malachite. So you can meditate with the stones in your hands, like I said, or you could just have them near you. You can carry them in your purse or pocket. And yeah, I love malachite. It's one of my favorite stones. Okay, so we got through the crystals. Now, um, you also want to do some shadow work. So everyone has an, a shadow aspect of themselves. And it's basically just the part of us where we hide from the world. Uh, it's all like your rejected and denied traits and feelings and habits and kind of your ego. So you want to be able to learn to love even those parts of you. So you want to learn to accept like your quirks and your different things that you try to like stifle down and hide from the world. You want to embrace those things and learn to love yourself as a whole and not just your, you know, better qualities. Another thing, too, is forgiveness. Forgiveness is huge. And this one, um, like, I struggle with this. I could hold a grudge for years. And as I'm working through my own stuff, I am finding that, yes, I need to let go and release any grudges I've had because it's not hurting the other person. It's hurting me. So forgiveness isn't for that person who did you wrong. You have to forgive for yourself so that you can release that pent up anger and emotions and, you know, heal. So <clears throat> yeah, forgiveness, forgiveness is a big thing and it's not always easy because, you know, when we feel like we're wronged in a certain way, it's hard to kind of let that go sometimes, but for your own highest good, you need to learn how to do that. And like I said, it's not, you have to like learn to forgive without ever receiving an apology and without, um, you know, them making amends for it. You just have to choose to do that within yourself. And they don't have to know about it either. You could just, you know, consciously choose to forgive someone or write them a letter of forgiveness and then burn it, you know, let it go. Something like that. Um, so there's also green foods you could eat, you know, anything with the color or wear green clothing or carry, you know, a green stone with you. 
Um, so yeah, green fruits and veggies like avocados and kiwis, um, zucchinis, anything like that uh, really helps with heart chakra. And another, uh, there's affirmations, obviously, for every single chakra, there's different affirmations. Um, so I am open is a good one. I listen to my heart. I release all fears or I am worthy of love. So you can like make your own or choose one of those that resonate with you. And you could just, you know, even put it on a sticky note and put it on your mirror. Um, so you see it every morning as you're getting ready for your day. So that's a great way just to like instill, um, new ways of being into your life. And also doing something kind for someone else. Um, try to strive to do something kind every single day, whether that's just giving someone a compliment or a smile or, um, you know, doing some, uh, encouraging someone with their goals or doing them a favor without expecting anything in return. You know, just any little act of kindness. Like if you find someone's wallet on the ground, go return it to them. Find them and return it and don't take anything out of it. You know, th little things like that is a really good way to show compassion and love for others. So that's really important. And also laughter. Laughter is one of the best medicines. I'm sure you've heard that before. And that's because laughter puts us in a very high vibrational state. And it's that's why it's so healing because our bodies heal ourselves. And when we can raise our vibrations um, to a certain extent, it promotes healing in the body. So Laughter is huge, whether you're watching, like, a funny YouTube video or a movie or, you know, just having fun with your friends and, like, laughing your butt off at stupid things, you know? That is all very important. Um, so, yeah, there's tons you could do. There really is. Um, I only list a few things when we do these videos, and it's only, like, the surface level. So, obviously, you want to, if you're just starting out, you want to pick a couple things, like, pick a cannabis strain and go meditate outside. You know, that's a very simple way to just connect with your heart space. If you happen to have some crystals that go along with the heart chakra, you can meditate with those with you or just carry them in your, just carry them with you. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have to edit that out. So yeah, um, yeah, if you have access to crystals, you know, use them. They're very powerful tools and get your hand on a good cannabis strain. So anyways, I just missed a call from my hubby, so I'm going to let you go and we will see you next week or it doesn't have to be next week. In a couple days, I'll be recording the throat chakra. So I'm really excited about that one too, because that is where your voice comes in. So have a good day everybody and subscribe to my channel if you want to catch all these videos and go take a look at the playlist because there is we have done from the root chakra to the heart chakra so far so if you're curious to go look back on the videos i have already done go take a look and let me know what you think bye